Coming up on today's episode... another uh, DERB video. Uh, this one is uh, going to be just talk, flap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I, I'd already done this once and my camera stopped recording and if it does it again I'm going to switch cameras. So <laughs> uh, what I'm, I'm going to hear today is to talk about what's going on here at DERB and some of the changes I've made and how you feel about those and I kind of want your uh, feedback on that if you would be so kind as to let me know in the comments if you like what's going on if you don't like what's going on uh, anything you have to say about it and let me know on that because uh, again uh, I've changed uh, quite a few things here as some of you may have noticed uh, I don't talk, I try not to talk as much on my videos uh, when I'm doing work on, on the bench and uh, I cut out a lot of that in post and editing and uh, so uh, trying to keep the time down to under 25 minutes basically is what I'm trying to do and I've been pretty successful at it so far so uh, again I just kind of What's your feedback on if you think that's a good idea? If you don't think it's a good idea, let me know. And I appreciate that very much. Um, some of the things going on. I want to tell you about one story first. Uh, I, I did something a couple of weeks ago uh, with my daughter and son-in-law. They uh, are running a paper route. And that may sound funny, but this is not the traditional uh, boys paper route. You know, the you know, ride on your bicycle and things like that. This is one where they go down and pick up the papers. These are all local community papers. Um, and there's one central location that does quite a few of them. Uh, and it's located in Madison, Indiana. And uh, so they started out doing the one for the neighboring town over here, North Vernon, Indiana. And uh, they liked it a lot. And then the opportunity came up to do some northern Kentucky routes. Uh, Milton, Kentucky, Carrollton, Kentucky, Gent, Kentucky, Sanders, Worthville, uh, a whole slew of little towns over there, and that, that came up. And, you know, me being having my mail route in Carrollton, I thought, well, that'd be kind of interesting to do. And so they talked me into going with them one night a couple weeks ago. And, uh, like I said, uh, we did that. And it was fun. And, uh, like I said, it, it was a good time. <laughs> I stayed up a little past my bedtime, though. Uh, they usually don't get the call to even pick up the papers till maybe 11 or 11 or 12 at night. So uh, it, I think this time was a little after 10, but it wasn't too bad. And went to, like I say, Madison, picked up the papers, uh, and then they do a little sorting there, and then they've got, uh, have, have them marked a certain way where they put them in the back of the van, and then they, they know what's what. I, I don't know how they do it. They do it all right, so... Uh, my daughter basically goes along on the paper route with uh, my son-in-law to uh, help out with the uh, sorting. And uh, basically she bundles, uh, they usually bag them up uh, in plastic bags. And she bundles those up while he's driving from one stop to the next. And has, you know, makes her, her bundles up to where she knows what to give him. And it works out pretty good. So, like I said, that was a good time. And since then, they have uh, gotten additional routes over there uh, to include uh, some uh, even larger area. So uh, I may may go with them again. I don't know. And I just kind of like to see what's going on with them. And uh, also, I'm going to give them, you may recall, I did a, uh, a review of a spotlight for a Chinese company. And uh, I did that some time ago. And I, I've had the spotlight up in the cupboard. Hasn't even been used at all. And uh, I got that the other day, out the other day, and they still had a charge on it and everything. I thought, well, that'd make ideal for them because they're over there at night and they can't see anything. It's pitch dark. And uh, I thought that little portable spotlight would be nice to have. And it's got an extra light on it as well, you may recall. But I'm going to give that to them for Wednesday sometime. Wednesday night's when they go. So that's that. I want to get that out of the way because last time I did this, that got cut off. So... <laughs> um, Things coming up. What's on the bench right now is the TAC A107. 
I've just finished that and I, I, I needed something for a preview of that video and I thought you know I haven't done a flap for a while so I thought well why not do a flap and I even made a, a timer on my phone so I'll know what I, how much time I have to uh, do this because this is a 20 minute limit on these cameras now if this like I said if it doesn't record the full 20 minutes this time I'm going to uh, switch cameras and use one I know that will work uh, but hopefully it will because this is a good camera as far as the video quality I think now, I did have some problems focusing on that uh, TAC, but I think it was because there was an object that was close like this, and then I was trying to focus in on something, you know, was far away, and uh, that just doesn't work a lot. So, the camera wasn't the camera's fault. The camera was doing the best it could. So, uh, but like I said, uh, I've made mention also of BK970 uh, in the in the video, and uh, that's coming up. I've got some parts ordered. Uh, I've been talking with Brendan and we, we discussed it quite a bit and uh, decided the uh, way to go on that one range that's uh, got the bad coil in it or a misadjustment uh, adjusted coil. Uh, we figure that possibly um, that uh, those were glued, those slugs were glued in at the factory uh, because they would they shouldn't be needing changing and maybe the capacitor has gone South now they were precision capacitors. I think that was a 10 picofarad cap on the one that uh, I uh, couldn't get adjusted. And so he said, you know, the way to do it is to buy a, a, a tremor, and that would cover basically zero to uh, 20 picofarad. And the closest I think we could find was uh, five to 20, but still that should be close enough, I think, to get the job done. And uh, so I've got that order, but those are coming out of China. So it may take a while to do, but now what, what Brendan wants me to do in the meantime is to basically put that up on the bench with the frequency counter and check the frequency ranges, see where, where the discrepancy is. I think it was on the FM band on the 10.7 megahertz band, I believe, is the one that was messed up. And I thought, you know, being as that would probably use for uh, a lot of FM stuff, so I would like to have that if I could get it. So... Uh, Again, it's going over there on that side. The circuit breaker works perfectly. I like it. Uh, so that's going to be coming up. I'm going to be working on that. I don't know. Probably, I, I think I mentioned in the TAC video, it would be the next on the bench. So I will be doing that uh, frequency test for Brendan for that. And I think I'll go ahead and put it on this channel because it is uh, related to what I'm working on. I thought would I was going to put it on my other channel. I thought, well, you know, it really wouldn't make sense to put it over there and, and you know, uh, something I'm working on actively, so uh, I just thought that was the best, best way to do it. Um, so that's that. Uh, still not sure about where I'm going to put this uh, TAC deck right now, but uh, again, it is working, so I can put it over here for now, and I may just think about the whole situation. That's one of the things I like about doing the, the videos like I'm doing right now. Um, it allows me to have a little time to think about things, and I'm not rushed to uh, basically have to um, get things out in any kind of hurry. Right now I have videos covering Tuesday and Friday up on, uh, has already been up on YouTube and posted and scheduled and ready to go. So this TAC that I just got done doing is going to be next Tuesday and this video here that you're watching now will be next Friday. So, a uh, week from Friday, I guess is the best way to say it. Uh, so, that's got me, you know, that's got me some time to, from then to now, or now to then, to think about what I'm doing. And if I don't feel like doing things, there are days I don't feel like doing things, so I don't do them. <laughs> it just works out perfectly. You can't get no better than that. And still yet, I've got some good content for my channel. Now, I am kind of running low. I've got that Hanamax coming up. Uh, part 2 of that's coming up. I think Part one will be shown tomorrow. It'll be Tuesday, uh, I think, is, is when that's going to be shown. But uh, you'll see what that is all about, or you have seen that by the time you see this. So, anyway, uh, not going into times like a, 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 trying to get away from the time thing, and it just seems to work out much better. And I notice a lot of YouTubers do that. They don't mention what day it is, anything like that. And I understand now why they do that. I didn't understand that at first. I thought, well, it'd be kind of nice to know when they're doing it. You know, did they do it two months ago? Did they do it yesterday? Did you know? 
But at the same time, I understand why they do it because that gives them the freedom of making their content and putting whatever they want up whenever they want. They don't have to say, well, you know, I just did this, this is it. They can say, this is what I'm working on, and here it is, watch it. <laughs> so, you know, that, that makes a big difference, I think. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, since I've switched, I've really enjoyed the switch. And again, if you don't like it, let me know. If you do like it, let me know. I appreciate that. And uh, so, uh, like I said, that's what's coming up there. And I'm trying to keep an eye on the time. Uh, I have 7.35 left to 18 minutes. I put 18 minutes on the clock thinking, you know, I could I could go ahead and close it off after that unless I was in the middle of something. So that's why I'm trying to kind of watch it. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, not much else going on as far as content. The, the, the Hanamax is probably the last thing I've got to do. Uh, oh, I know, the Sony. I've almost forgot about that. That's big Sony in there. That thing, that's going to take up a few few episodes, I believe. Uh, that's the one where just the radio works and the CD and the tape don't work. And I think that one's going to be an interesting one as well. Um, so, again, oh, I know, that was, I did a, a, a loose ends type thing where I did the, um, basically the little Sony that I got that wasn't supposed to be working and it ended up working pretty good. And the, I bought the remote for it, and I didn't test the remote out on camera, and I wanted to do that. So I did that, made the uh, tool, uh, what do you call it, redid the uh, holders for the uh, nut drivers. And I still haven't got them up yet, but you know me. Uh, <laughs> and the uh, Radio Shack um, clarinet, I did the, uh, what do you call it, on the uh, little clip I found. And that was amazing that I found that, but it was. It, it worked out all right, so happy about that. Everything's been going pretty good doing it this way, and I'm enjoying it. Now, if you guys come back and everybody says, Oh, I hate this new format, but, you know, I want to try something else. But, like I said, right now I'm enjoying uh, doing it this way. And I, I know it's it's about basically your channel's about what you enjoy doing and things like that, or it should be, I think. I think it shows in your videos. I think, you you know, if, you, if you're not enjoying what you're doing and you're trying... To, to meet a quota or, or a deadline or something like that. I think it shows. I, I, I just believe that this is a better way of making it. I think you make better quality videos. And so that's why I'm doing it that way. So anywho, that's that. Um, let's see. There was something else. I did the paper thing. Um, I, ne I'll, I never do write these things down, and I should. Uh, but what's coming up after the Hanamax, the Sony, yeah, I've got to do that. And I think that's it as far as things I bought to, uh, to work on. Uh, our little MCS didn't work out. That turned out to be a parts unit. So uh, I've got the uh, bench, the organization over here that I want to put the scope and stuff like that. I've got to consider all that. But again, that's my thing to do. It's not not a video worthy thing, I don't think. So uh, it was suggested that I, I incorporate the 970 into a new MFP by Ron C. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> um, no, that's not going to happen. But uh, I, I, there were there are some some changes I wouldn't mind making. But right now it's it's pretty good. I, I think everything on there is useful. I've used the little signal generator many many times. I use my tester, use that a lot. I use the meter, use that a lot. I use the signal tracer, use that a lot. Of course, the radio, uh, I've used that for a lot of this audio stuff that I've been using. The line in on that, my bench amp. About the only thing I haven't been using for, and it's because I haven't been working on any tube stuff, is the uh, DC power supply that, uh, you know, gives me voltage for that. So, uh, like I said, uh, I, and I am going to get back to some of that too as well. I've, I've got plenty to do with that, and I, I haven't been buying any more. But I've got the, uh, the the Ward's Airline that I was working on, trying to get the, uh, uh, working on the reception on it and things like that. And uh, Brendan was the key a factor in getting that going and uh, so I want to get back to that get that going again on the bench so there's things to do and one of the reasons I got out of doing stuff like that is because it was it, I, I'm, if I'm unsure about how long something's going to take just like the Hanamax uh, I didn't think it was going to be able to be completely done in one video and me explaining what was wrong with it and what I found things like that uh, so I decided to split that into two parts, at least two parts. I don't even know yet. I haven't fixed it yet, so uh, I don't know how much it's going to need as far as uh, fixing. But uh, I'm thinking probably a bad transistor. That's just my thought on it. 
uh, could be obviously could be capacitors too but uh, anyway so that's what's going on uh, let's see what's going on here seems like that ought to be about it oh three minutes it's funny because the first time this happened I kept talking 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 nothing was happening I'm thinking I wonder if it's still working or not and I took a look at it well they only recorded a minute a little over a minute so and stopped recording now this camera has been pretty good uh, especially if I've got it going this way and I can see watch it you know I know it's it's working and it's been overall it's been very good to, to keep working and, and not shut itself off but again that doesn't mean it does it every time so uh, like I said, it is what it is. Uh, I've got the uh, little power supply I built with the plastic case, things like that. That's got to be worked on. Just looking around the bench and seeing all the junk. And, of course, cleaning the bench. <laughs> there's a there's an episode in itself. But, uh, like I said, everything's working out pretty good. I'm enjoying it. And that's the main reason for this, basically, was just to see your feelings, or hear your feelings or whatever on how I'm doing things now. If you if you like it let me know and if you don't like it let me know like I said it is just that simple um, that's all you got to do and if uh, everybody hates it well you know then I can try to make some changes and add something back in or something like that but uh, like I said this just makes it much easier on me to do because I can do it at my leisure and I don't have to worry about uh, having a, a video for this day or that day because they're already done and uh, I just, I, I enjoy working in here much more this way. I really do. And I look forward to coming in here and doing stuff now. I, before, you know, I felt like I had to do it. And, you know, that's no fun. You guys know that. So, but like I said, it, uh, uh, things that's, you know, happen. And plus this stuff I've been working on is very, very much a challenge for me. And this, especially this TX, because I had the switch uh, messed up on it. That was my fault, I understand that, but at the same time, you know, there, even that service manual was not clear on how this works. And uh, so the only reason I saw it, because I saw that muting switch in the schematic, and I realized that that was the only thing that uh, basically had anything to do with both channels. And uh, so both channels being out, that, that made sense to my head anyway, my logical brain that that had to be part of the reason, or at least most of the reason why it wasn't working. So, sure enough, that was it. Um, the uh, the out outputs we found on the board uh, were there, but uh, they got cut off after that. That's the way that schematic, if you look at the schematic, you can tell that it, that grounds the signal out on down further past all that stuff. So, uh, anywho, it is what it is. Uh, I think I'm coming up on my 18 minutes, I believe. If this ain't going to beep or let me know. or uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Hey, it beeped. It worked out pretty good. So, I'm happy about that. So, I'll know to be able to use that now. I've just got two minutes. <laughs> so, let me get out of here and close this up. Because, like I said, I don't want to make it longer than it has to be. Uh, main reason, main thing was again the uh, how you guys like this. I wanted to tell a story about the paper route, and like I say, I may do that again. But uh, like I said, I may take my camera this time. Of course, you can't see a lot in the dark. <laughs> so let me let me get off here. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so so very much for watching, and we do appreciate that. And we will see ya. Mm -hmm.